Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Clara and I've got myself a little short quick review and it's another one of the Deckscape games. So uh, I've been really enjoying these Deckscape games. This is the third or fourth one that I've played. Uh, they're very lightweight sort of escape room puzzle games. This one is very much a puzzle game. What did I think of it? Well, uh, let's get into the main page and we'll talk about it, shall we? Get into the main page. I'm not sure what I was talking about there, but hey, you know. Uh, right, so El Dorado. So this is uh, the third or fourth one. I can't remember exactly. Oop. Um, but it's it's very much a puzzle game. So it's an escape room. You've got a couple of different puzzles and you go through a deck of cards. So it's nice. It's small. It's a perfect uh, stocking filler, which in fact, actually, I uh, talked about that in the stocking fillers for the Dice Tower uh, 12 games of Christmas. So, yep, perfect stocking filler. And these are just really good fun. Now, I, I, I'm a little bit older and I've been playing them pretty much so far on my own or maybe with one other person. So I'm missing out on the family side of it. These are, these are for families. These are definitely for families. Um, and I'm still playing them because I enjoy them. Um, luckily, my housemate had already played this one, which is why we didn't play it together, but normally we would. Um, but these are super lightweight games. Like I say, you go through the cards. This one, to me felt a lot more like it was just one puzzle after another after another. So there's a lot of logic puzzles. It's like, um, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? Whereas some of the others, they felt a little bit more interactive, more sort of escape roomy, where it's like, okay, you need to go and find this. And then you come back and it's like, okay, now you can go through this lock and this gives you a key. Ah, I remember the key that was over there. The others, which is really, really impressive with the deck of cards, um, and not really something I feel with the unlock games, if I'm honest, uh, which is also a, a deck of cards. I think this does the deck of cards escape room way better. Um, but that's my opinion. I realise not everyone agrees. But yeah, this one felt a lot more of a puzzle. So it's like, okay, here's a puzzle. Okay, we solved it. Now what's the next one? Okay, we solved it. Next one, solved it. Um, I think we pro I probably could have had more fun if I was playing with other people. I did really enjoy it though. I mean, I enjoyed the logic puzzles, but I felt like it was more of a sort of puzzle book. I was doing one and then the next and then the next. And that's fine. That's what I wanted from it. Like I say, maybe it would have felt like a bit more of an adventure if I was playing it with my niece or something. So, uh, but I enjoyed the puzzles. I enjoyed going through these puzzles. Let's not say that I didn't because I did. I really enjoyed it and I, thoroughly felt that I got my money's worth out of this. I enjoyed playing it um, and it is resettable, which is nice unlike say the exit games. So yeah, um, Mystery of Eldorado, where does this fall in the ones that I've played? I'm not sure. I, I think I still like the, uh, the time, test time, I think it was called. I think that's still my favorite one and I did like Behind the Curtain. Um, but I love the theming of this one. It's really nice and like I say, it's more, felt more like a puzzle book, which Again, I really enjoy as well. So, um, yeah, I, I have another three or four of these lined up and I can't wait to play them. So uh, I am not stopping playing these anytime soon. They're great, but I think you probably get the most if you are in a family environment, quite possibly. Uh, and with that, uh, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, take care and bye-bye.